Welcome, everyone, to the general gaming channel known as M12 Warthog Game. Hey guys, M12 Warthog Game here, back with another video, and today we're doing something with redstone. What you can see there is a double, a redstone double combination lock where you link two combination locks in order to open up one door, plus you have to ha have like an enter button, like for a keypad. But, um, this one I'm gonna talk about how to add a double layer. Now, a double layer is still one combination lock, but it's on multiple floors, so that you have to go to multiple floors and hit multiple buttons to do this. And this one will contain five, five nodes on each side. This one has six. This, well, well, this one right here, this specific node is the reset node. You have to get this right, otherwise the whole thing does not work right. Now, over here, I made a little model of how you're going to make the redstone power go up. And what you do here, this is the power source, say, like, coming, that's been moving over from this um, reset node over. Once it gets here, you can have the signal travel up and over into this, and then you invert it here. So once it gets, so once this loses all power, it comes and opens up this door, and I'm going to show you that now, and then I'm going to go a little bit more into detail how it works. So if I press all of these, then the signal should come up here. I can deactivate all of this. And this. And you got your door open. But. That's pretty simple and easy to do. You just build this thing and attach it onto um, like a combination lock on the bottom. And add a few more nodes on the top. But um, on top of that, I mean, if you just happen to hit the random buttons in order. Of course, you can have a redstone clock linked up to it. So that no one um, gets in by random chance. But um, you do need this inverted. But I'm also going to show you um, something else I'm going to do. Which now, if I simply just build out a platform, say about maybe not too, not too large. What you want to do is make an AND gate on your platform, where this is going to be. This will be input one. Everything from the combination lock, from whatever floor, you can also use that little, use this um, redstone jumper that jumps the redstone to go up vertically to make it so that a button up top will activate a node which would be on the bottom and so forth, so you would actually have to go up and downstairs to do it. Now, what I'm going to do is that... It will be the input for your first for your first AND gate. An AND gate requires both one input from over here and another one, hence the name AND gate. Now, I'm gonna put down torches in this configuration. Put this here. This torch is off, so it will not send a charge to this iron door to activate it unless this gets charged. Now, the one way and easiest way to do this, if you ask me, is to say, I don't know, put in a few repeaters here because the redstone signal is going to be going in this way. Slow it down. Then you build out your platform more if you need to. Put put a block down. You don't have to use emerald for this. I know that's costly, but um, I just picked a random item out of my inventory. I seem to be using that, preferably over this. And once everything's activated, you can just wait for this, and it opens up the door. Now, another thing you should know is is that if you constant if that I used the stone button. Now, a thing that you should do, take note, is that the stone button probably not the best thing to do. 
Because a wood one gives a little bit of a longer charge. And that door stayed open for a little bit longer, making it easier to get in. Unlike this stone button. It does stay open for a while, but um, to me it seems like the wooden one stays open for longer. And if you want to make sure that you can get in or let a group of people in, keep holding down the thing. And it stays open like that for much longer. Another way you can do this is just find a way to add in more repeaters if you need to. You can also have this input. Have have this AND gate be an input for another AND gate so that you have a total of like maybe three inputs because you're going to have this, this whole combination lock as one input. This as another, which both these feed into one AND gate and then have the second input be something else. So you could technically make this input here for this enter button, so-called, for this door to be another double-layered combination lock, which I could put facing opposite this one, pretty much like a mirror of what you're seeing right here. As an input to this, which could be another way to unlock it, and then you remove the door and make another end gate to do it, which would be very similar to this over here, although um, a friend of mine played around with this and this may not be 100% right with the with the combination lock status. But you could do that because you see here, both these two combination locks feed right into this. So these two combination locks are this input for this part of the AND gate and the other one's just over here, which is an enter button. Now, of course, you're going to have to put some redstone underneath like torches and whatnot around it. That way, it's closed, but it's powered, and then you have to unpower it. Otherwise, I could just put a button right next to it and open it up easily. That's one way to lock the door. Now, for me, when I play on survival, it's usually like free-for-all, but um, you can do whatever. Trade with people, engage in PvP if you see each other, but you don't always have to, and we make rules like, like you'll have like your house as a safe zone as long as it's within reasonable size and not like, like a whole biome kind of deal and so this is why um i think this would be useful there are many other reasons why maybe if you're trying to do a map where you can't build or mine like some sort of adventure map and you want to have a combination like this you can it's pretty much all linked into one and don't forget that this is probably the most important node if this is not working properly the rest will not and it is the reset node simply do this it automatically will start to slowly deactivate everything. Redstone power will come back. That will deactivate the power coming into this um, input of the AND gate. That means no matter how many times I, I enter in an input to this door, it won't activate anything and it will not work. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this. Um, Redstone video. If you guys enjoyed watching, don't forget to leave any comments, questions, or feedback for me in the comment section down below. Also, my gamer tag, which is on screen there, feel free to send me questions if you want um, on there. Or what I would feel free to do and get to know my fans more is if you guys would like any assistance with Redstone and whatnot. I'm only on Xbox right now. I'm thinking about maybe doing some more stuff in the future, as I talked about in a previous video, for um, stuff regarding PC Minecraft and doing that, where I could play with mods and whatnot. But that's a bit away. But um, when I do get there, that would be great for me to do, and maybe I could help you guys if you play on PC with Redstone stuff, because I like to play around with the stuff in my free time and whatnot. But, um, Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later.